Hey guys, what's up? I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at Paley Fest to talk to the stars of the hit CW shows, The Flash and Arrow. Perfect. Let's do the group. Hi. Hi. First of all, you look beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, I'll just ask a quick question here. Um, Iris, how, I mean, I was asking your dad this earlier as well. <laughs> like, how long do you think she can be in the dark about this? She's a smart girl. She asks lots of questions. Yes. She's got a, a small obsession going on. Yes. She won't be in the dark for, for very long. I know everyone wants her to find out. But this is kind of the comic book thing, right? It's the Lois Lane syndrome. And I think it's what makes these kind of stories fun. You have to have it. I know people want to see her find out sooner rather than later. And, and that will happen. Do you think it'll be relief or do you think it'll be anger? I think it'll be disappointment and frustration more than anything because Joe and, and Barry are family first and foremost. And I think with anyone, when your family lies to you or doesn't tell you something, it's a sense of betrayal more than anything. Definitely. I have a, sorry, no, I have a career question for yeah. you, because for, I mean, for your character's career. Because uh, you've now actually starting to work for a real newspaper, yeah. but nobody respects your character artist at all. So. How do you see that changing, and how, how, what do you want to happen so that they will respect you? I think, you know, having Mason Bridge kind of learn to respect her and see her, her chutzpah so soon is going to help her kind of stand in her own strength. Just having a mentor there to kind of guide her. I mean, he's, you know, encouraging her to figure out what's going on in Star Labs. I think the more Iris kind of stands up for herself and, and proves to herself that she can do it, the stronger she'll become and the stronger people will, will see her to be. What can we look forward to for Iris? I mean, she's not going to have to deal with the reverse flash yeah. thing that everyone else is dealing with. Oh, she will. She will come face to face with reverse flash. Yeah, for sure. Tell us more. That's all I'll tell you. <laughs> but there will, yeah, there will be there will be interaction with uh, Flash and the reverse flash. I mean, as, you, as you've seen, the knife goes into Iris's face, right? Um, so she is a target for reverse flash, and that does come to a head at some point in the season. Yeah. Looking super forward to it. Yeah, awesome. Nice to, nice to <laughs> see you guys. I just want to say, what do you think was behind um, Iris kind of like talking to Linda about Barry? Oh my goodness. Everyone thinks she's so like calculated and, and vindictive. I don't think it, I wasn't playing it as that. I think, think it was like seriously like a concern or innocence and just yeah, inquisitive. Just gen like genuinely saying, I think he's hung up on someone else possibly and that's something that you should, you know... Give him time. He just give him time. He'll he'll get over her. Just give him time. Well, as playing the character, we should trust your instincts. So you played it as I mean, not vindictive. Interpret it however you want. But that's just what I was going for. You know, I don't think Iris is a malicious character at all. I don't think she would ever intentionally throw Barry, the person that she loves and wants to see happy, under the bus ever. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite CW show.